friends, thank you so much for stopping by for another video and welcome if you are new here. My name is Sydney and today I am sharing my fall clean and decorate with me. I'm so excited to finally be decorating for fall because this is actually my first time decorating since we just moved here from a smaller apartment. And I hope you get inspired from this video, whether it be cleaning or decorating for fall. And if you enjoy, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you are new here. I would love for you to join my family. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. So I'm just starting off with putting the dirty dishes in the dishwasher and washing this little bit that I have left. And I am going to be cleaning the kitchen and kitchen table first before I start decorating. I just wanted to have everything clean before I, you know, start decorating and just focus on decorating when I'm done. So yeah, the kitchen was a little bit messy since this was after breakfast and lunch i didn't really clean up much so um yeah i'm just doing that real quick and we will get to the decorating in a little bit i'm just using some baking soda to deep clean my kitchen sink and i love how shiny it leaves it afterwards i don't always deep clean my sink but when i do I definitely do notice a huge difference. Alright guys, so here is a question for you all. What are some of your favorite fall activities you do as a family or with friends? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to read your responses. For me, it's definitely going to a pumpkin patch or a farm that has different activities for the little ones. We have been going every single year and it has been such a great tradition that we all truly enjoy. And I really do love the extra quality time we all get to spend together. Now that I'm done cleaning up the kitchen, I'm moving on to the kitchen table and then I will start decorating this whole area first and moving on to the living room and bathroom afterwards. So I do live in North Carolina if some of you didn't know and fall is more of a spring feeling with a little bit of cool weather here and there. And it's mid-September right now but it's still feeling a lot like summer in the mid 80s. Um, I'm definitely ready to pull out my flannels and cardigans and start layering my clothing because that's something I do love about fall. Um, let me know down below if you can relate. All right guys, so this is my little fall stash that I have going on so far. This is the first time that I really decorate for fall um, since we did live in a smaller apartment before moving to this house. 
and i didn't want to purchase a whole lot of decor when we lived there so i'm so excited to finally start decorating seasonally and most of this stuff was actually gifted from some dear friends thank you guys so much you guys know who you are if you are watching this video we did love everything and i'm so excited to be using it now that fall is here i wanted to finally start decorating so i'm just gonna be wiping down this window i haven't cleaned in a while and I'm, that's the last thing i'm cleaning here in the kitchen so i decided to put this little welcome friends sign on here i thought this piece was so cute and along with this little pumpkin and now i'm just gonna be reusing this little picture frame i got this idea from mama makes it happen Courtney from Mama Makes It Happen, she actually did this in her Decorate With Me and I thought that was such a great idea. I don't have any tiered trays or trays right now, so I'm just reusing this picture frame as a tray and I'm using my Fall Picnic scent from Michaels. I purchased this last year, you guys, and it smells amazing. It smells just like fall and I love all of these fall scents, you guys. Let me know what your favorite scents are. I would love to know. And this little white house I got from the dollar spot at Target. And I absolutely love it. So I love how both of these turned out together. I got the Happy Fall, y'all, last year, I believe, from the Target dollar spot as well and the yeah and the pumpkin one was actually gifted so i'm not sure where that one's from but i love the pop of orange in there and now i'm moving on to the dining table and i absolutely love this table runner you guys i got it at hobby lobby and um this is also another um picture frame or decor piece that i'm using as a tray so thank you courtney for that awesome tip um i don't have trays right now and that's something i do want to get in the future but that's just a tip for you guys as well um just use what you have and work with what you have you don't have to purchase all of this decor all at once and that's something that i am doing and learning right right now i see all of these beautiful decorated homes and you know i will get there one day and i'm just starting off slowly and working with what I have. And now I'm gonna be using this little burlap that I actually had stashed away, hoping to do a DIY. Um, so I'm just gonna be putting a little bow around this vase. I felt like it needed something extra and I think this burlap did the trick, you guys. I'm not the best at making bows, so it's not super pretty, but you know, <laughs> I did the best I could. And I really love how it turned out. So now I'm moving on to the living room area and just putting a couple touches of fall in here. So now I'm just tidying up the living room and the sofa. Um, the boys like to sometimes eat their snacks over here, so I'm just trying to take all of the crumbs off and I will be sweeping it later, but my boys did wake up from their nap, so they are joining me um, the rest of this cleaning and decorating. So now I'm just dusting the mantle and chimney area with the almond method cleaner and I love this this scent you guys it smells so good I don't know how many times I've talked about it in my videos it's all the same like some things never change I couldn't stop and say you know it's all the same but you won't take blame even when you are blowing up oh my oh my you're my broken love Nobody's gonna save and I Oh my, oh my, you're my broken so the boys actually wanted to help me out and wipe down the little um, side table so Aaron is helping me wipe it down and I just think it's so cute when they see me clean they 
are right behind me trying to clean after me or attempt to clean. So this is some of the decor items I'm gonna be using to decorate my mantle. And this actually was kind of uh, time consuming. What I was going for wasn't turning out how, it, how I liked. So you're gonna see me struggling for a bit. And those little vases I'm meaning, I've been meaning to paint and maybe de-stress it. So I am gonna be doing that very soon. I just need to go and get the paints and some brushes. This is where I was struggling. So this little garland was giving me the hardest time. So I gave up and decided to just hang it up over here in, the little, in my little gallery wall. And I love how it turned out. And um, this little hello fall sign was originally on there, but I felt like it didn't really go well with the little wreath anymore. So yeah, you'll just see me playing around with it and I eventually just keep it very simple and minimal on here. Right, guys so this is the last room i will be cleaning and decorating this is actually our guest bathroom and the room my boys use so i'm just going to be adding several pieces of halloween decor in here just to make it more fun for them and i will give you all an overview of all of the decor afterwards so make sure you watch until the end to see how everything turned out So I thought this would be a cute little place to display this little Halloween sign I bought from the Target Dollar Spot last year along with this little skull and pumpkin and the boys absolutely love seeing it every time they come in here. Now I'm just going to be cleaning the toilets and sweeping afterwards. Now that I'm all done cleaning and decorating, I decided to sweep and mop towards the end of the day and it was actually really late when I did this so I was only able to do the kitchen area since it gets the most foot traffic and the messiest. All right guys, that is going to be it for today's video and I'm so happy with how everything turned out. It just makes our home feel so much more cozy and inviting and I truly hope you all enjoyed and that this gave you inspiration to either clean along with me or some ideas to decorate your home for fall. So if you made it this far, let me know what is your favorite season to decorate your home for down below in the comments. I would love to know and I truly love connecting with you all there. Thank you all so much for watching and for all of your support. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here and enjoyed, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.